Welcome back to the channel. I want to show you this morning our stock trailer that we're going to turn into a mobile chicken coop to be out in our pasture here. And we're expanding the chicken project for this year, so we want to uh, fix this sucker up and turn it into a nice mobile chicken coop. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so you can see I'm getting started on this this project to clean up and, and dress up the looks of this stock trailer that we got for a mobile chicken coop. We, uh, we got this trailer from my father-in-law and he wasn't using it anymore. It had been sitting out in a field for a while. And so it's gonna work perfect for us. And uh, we're gonna raise some chicks in it. We're gonna turn it into an egg mobile, but we wanna dress up the looks of it. So I'm just kind of grinding away the, the rusted spots. It's got some mold, things like that. I'm not gonna worry about making it look perfect for uh, show quality or anything like that, but it's just gonna be for chickens out in the field. But when people drive by, my plan is that this would um, have a fresh coat of paint on it and have a little bit of signage too to show that we've got eggs for sale here and maybe spark interest someone asking a question about buying our eggs so that's the main point of this paint job here is to dress it up so that it does catch the eye and then we're going to do modifications to the inside a little bit to the outside and uh, be working on it to make it very functional as a chicken coop instead of just a standard stock trailer so we're going to just kind of take you along and I'm not an expert in any of this stuff, but I'm just giving it a shot. So when you see the running paint that I just put on here, <laughs> you know, that's just uh, part of me learning how to use the spray paint. So anyway, uh, we're going to be fixing it up and thanks for coming along for the ride. How far you want to roll it? Today we're going to work on covering up the horizontal openings in the trailer that are letting in the temperature, uh, the predators, everything like that. So we're going to try to close those up for now. We're still early in spring. In the summer we'll probably want netting, chicken wire, something like that over these openings. But for now we want to just to cover them up and keep the snow out, keep the cold out. And this is gonna be a place where we're starting our, our baby chicks, not for, at the very first, but kind of uh, once they get up and running, we'll have them in here and they'll be protected. And uh, we've got like 100 baby chicks plus a few more, so they'll probably be out here as their enclosed coop area until they get big enough to go outside and the weather turns better in the spring. So anyway, stay tuned. We're going to cover up this trailer today, and uh, thanks for watching. It won't move. What do you mean? But it's following me. Oh, that's not the same kind of camera. Oh. That's a different one. I am thinking you could help me with, um, with holding that piece of metal up while I screw it in all the way at the front on that window. Can you crawl up through there? I'll show you. Yeah, crawl up in there. Okay. And see that see that piece of metal laying up there? Yes. Can you hold it up? That's metal. That, that piece? Yeah, hold it up on that window. I'm gonna cover up that window with it. Okay. Yep, just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna do the, the one in the corner over here. I'm gonna go above that. One. Yep, I'm gonna go to the top. Can you push on that? You're doing great. Push on the top? Yep. Because I'm gonna do right here. Yep, yeah, push with both hands. Okay, now let's come 
over to this one. The bottom or the top? The bottom. Okay, I'm holding the top. You want to use the drill? Haha, uh -huh. but the baby chicks could hop up here and um, go through this hole. Yeah, we'll have to fix all those holes. Come down and hold that up. Dust for my last one. Yep. Okay. Push that one on the outside. All right. So you can see how this project's going. We are just lining the. Uh, lining these holes with my 2x6's that I have laying around just trying to make as few cuts as I can to use the most of my scraps it's not like a forever thing so one screw holding in the 2x6 pretty tight is gonna be okay with me anyway we're making progress here and we'll see how we just keep on moving along so let's put it right you wanna do it? Yes. make the mark Oh, nice job. Really good. Really good mark. It's right here. Okay, let's make a cut. Okay. I'm sure like if you could hold this board up. I can't because I was just wanted to take a little break. What? A break? Yeah, on this. So luckily, um, I found this junk 1x4 pallet wood that I got from a friend here recently. I was just asking around if anybody had some old lumber or something they didn't want. And this junk 1x4 is going to be perfect to uh, cover up the, the top horizontal opening in this, in this stock trailer. So anyway, this wood really isn't structural, isn't good for much at all, but it's going to be perfect for filling that in. Like I said, this will only be a temporary thing here in the in the springtime when it's cold out and we're trying to keep all the weather out. When we want to open up this stock trailer for more ventilation and summertime weather, we'll come back and redo this another way. But for now, this is going to work out just fine. But um, as you can see, we're just kind of closing this thing in. We're just using scrap wood. I know that's not super interesting, but I just want to give you guys the idea that, you know, just use whatever you got around and and uh, make something work. We have to get this trailer for free. And so that was uh, awesome that we were able to get a structure like this for no money. And it can hold birds and we can make it into a um, coop and, and possibly somewhat of a mobile chicken coop or something we can move around to the areas that we want it to be. So um, just this is a video to give you guys ideas and I hope you're enjoying following along. But this was the progress today I got that done down both sides and now I need to work on the 
indoor area. 